Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. And a Merry Christmas to you guys, but here's an unwelcome present this festive season. Climbing into his metal gift wrapping is Wolf. Wouldn't like that in my stocking. <laughs> And in the yellow sphere, Martin on fire! And in the blue, Derek Redmond! And in the orange, Mark Bosnick! And they're going to be chased by the Hunter! And the man we love to hate, the Wolfman! Celebrities ready! Gladiators ready! Three, two, one! Hunter and the Wolfman about to do the gladiator rock and roll on our three celebrity contenders. That's right, Mike, and oh, Mark Bosnick scores a goal, and Martin O'Fire fires off the smoke for three points as well. Goalkeeper Mark Bosnich really knows how to handle these giant footballs. Scores again. Here's Martin, slammed into the points by Wolfman. Derek Redmond sprints across pot three, just fails to smoke it. Very difficult here for the Gladiators to play two on three. Mark Bosnich scores again. It is difficult, Mike, and that's why Martin's building up such a great score. And Mark Bosnich has found some space coming up. Picks up three points on two. And just like Jim Carrey in the mask, he's smoking. And Derek Redman. He's off and running. Derek settles into scoring pot number four just before time expires. All three celebrity contenders looking good in atmosphere. They certainly are, Mike. And as you said, difficult for two gladiators to keep track of three contenders. In the replay, the goalkeeper, Bosnich, enjoying uh, being a striker for a change. Quite frankly, where were you, Wolfman? Oh, come on. I, I rushed to the middle with the greatest speed possible. And who do I meet? Hunter. Oh, the others have gone, they were so scared. You've only been doing this 359 million times. Let's hear it for Hunter and Wolfman! I hate this music, I don't like it, I'm not impressed. But I'm impressed with Mark Bosnich. After one event, he's top of the celebrity Christmas tree with 12 points. Ellery has nine, Martin nine, Barry six, Derek three, and Eddie yet to get off the mark. So now it's time for event number two, which is pyramid and raring to go. It's Eddie, Barry and Ellery, and tonight they're facing Hunter, Shadow and the Wolfman! Time up, thank goodness. 
Wolves should be pulling crackers at Christmas, not Barry McGuigan shorts down. Oh, yes, I thought we'd get a replay. One of those magic moments that only happen on Gladiators. Well, Barry, what a fine moment. I've been doing this show for three years, and it's the first time I've blushed. For the ladies and gentlemen on this side, you missed it. You missed it. Barry's bottom. Yeah, well, thanks to the Wolves for putting my trousers down. I don't think that's allowed, do you? Uh, no, I should be given ten points for that. He, let me, he made me show my bottom. But for those of you on this side, you had a good time, yeah? good time because you made it to the top some great falls off there some real stunt falls but you managed to pick up 10 points yeah i'm well happy about that when shadow threw me i didn't think i was going to hit the deck <laughs> threw me so hard i thought i was going to clear the, the red carpet well you did very well indeed ellery you didn't quite make it to the top but i know you enjoyed this one didn't you absolutely i like the falling and rolling and tumbling it was absolutely magnificent them guys are absolutely fit and i tell you what you've got to actually try it to believe how hard it is Let's hear it for Ellery, Eddie and Barry! <laughs> so next up, it's Martin, Derek and Mark, and they face a fresh batch of gladiators. They are Trojan, Saracen and Cobra! Over to John Anderson. Celebrities! Serves them the best rugby, track, or football. All three men on the same side of the pyramid, and that is makes it a little bit easier for our three gladiators: Trojan, Saracen, and Cobra. It's Martin O'Fire doing the bunny hop. Uh oh, breakaway here! It's Derek Redmond sprinting to the top. He's got ten points. Good to see the fireworks flashing, and not Wolf. Derek showing the form that made him so successful in the 400 meters. Cobra hits the bottom as Mark Bosnich hits the top. He's got five. Yes, five points for being second to the top, and Martin can pick up two points if he can make it up there too. Well, some way, with 15 seconds left in the clock, Martin will try to figure a way to get past Trojan. If he can do that, he'll get two, but that does not look like it's going to be the case. Yes, Mike, it looks like the bunnies won out of bounds. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and that is it. There's the whistle. So Derek Redmond gets 10. Mark Bosnich, five in Pyramid. Martin not scoring, but he's got three events ahead of him. In the replay, we can see how Derek put those sprinter's legs to good effect. I've not seen anyone leave Saracen looking like he's in slow motion before. Look at the speed of him. Well, Derek, this begs the question. Have you got an unfair advantage? <laughs> Have you watched this enough time to know that there's a technique to get up there? Yeah, the only reason I'm doing this show is so I haven't got wearing them black and white striped outfits. <laughs> well, you look very good tonight. You picked up 10 points. You must be pleased with that. Oh, yeah, well, happy I'm alive at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Mark? Did you enjoy that one? Yeah, very hard, very difficult. Um... Well, you picked up five points, which isn't too bad because you were second one up there, but uh, it looked a little bit tentative to start with. Yeah, I was just sort of testing out at the start, but he's trying to, try to tickle me. <laughs> but I, after I got over that spell, I was okay. <laughs> Well, it sounds to me like there's a little bit of cheating going on on the Gladiators' behalf. Now, there was a lot of jumping oh, around, yeah. not a lot of jumping up, Martin. No. <laughs> I mean, what was this two at a time bit? I yeah. mean... That was my secret weapon. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> it backfired. It was too strong. It certainly did, but you look as if you all enjoyed it. Go and get yourselves a glass of water. Mark, Derek and Martin! Well, it's usually the gladiators with all the bunny, but here's Martin trying it on, and uh, he's yanked back, one-legged. I don't think this technique will catch on. Scores after two events. Mark maintains his lead with 17. Derek's on 13. Eddie moves off the bottom into third with 10. Our rugby men, Ellery and Martin, are on nine, and Barry's at the bottom with six. So it's two down, three to go. More action here after the break on Celebrity Gladiators! <laughs> Welcome back to the National Indoor Arena and to part two, where we're just about to kick off with event number three, which is the wall. And standing at the foot of the wall is Barry. He's going to be chased by Falcon. 
also contemplating the 36 feet ahead of him. It's Eddie, and he's going to be chased by Scorpio. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Celebrities, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. And in this celebrity wall, our two celebs, Barry and Eddie, will be getting a 10-second head start on our gladiators. Well, I don't know what Barry thinks he's doing. Looks like he's taking a bow. He should be going up. Here come the gladiators. Barry, the low man in the totem pole at the moment right now, in danger of being eliminated. Look at Eddie Kidd, though. Doing well. Getting very close to the summit. Yes, he is, and Barry stepped up a gear, too. Eddie Kidd up and over. He's got 10 more points. Barry's Whoa. over eventually for five points. And don't his kids look happy about it? Eddie, how did you find that? Made it look easy. Uh, it's frightening, especially when you've got a woman chasing you. <laughs> I think you're used to that, aren't you? <laughs> that doesn't worry you. Uh, well, it does sometimes. Well, well done, Eddie. You got yourself ten points. Thank you very much. Barry, how did you find that? Did well? Well, I actually slowed down and hoping that you would catch me. <laughs> uh, you know, in actual fact, uh, it was good fun. Uh, I missed my, uh, missed my place and just after it started, and I found it hard to get back, but, yeah, I got up there. Lovely. Well done, Barry. Five points.